lid locks, there's no easier way to lock up your helmet. Lid locks on your 2012 Street Glide. Lid locks on a 1976 Kawasaki KZ900. Hi, Matt with Lid Locks here. As you can see from the beginning of this video, Lid Locks are extremely easy to use. I lock up my helmet before I even get off my bike. So what could be uh, easier or more convenient? You can have your helmet hanging off the end of your uh, grip just like that. Some people like to take these and put them up over the mirror. Maybe if it's going to rain out, you can do that. So uh, you can also, in a lot of cases, put them over the end of your handlebar, which is a way people like to put their helmets on their handlebars anyway when they're not locked up. So they're pretty versatile. Um, I usually just leave mine hanging and throw my gloves in the helmet. We've got uh, new fitments for all kinds of bikes at Lid Locks. We've got Lid Locks for Can-Am Spiders, BMWs, Vespa Scooters, Harley Davidsons, uh, Hondas, Suzuki's, all the Victories. Um, you know, we've also got the version that we've been selling for, that's been on the market for 12 years now, and that's the one that goes on the end of the Kuriakin grips. Uh, they buy those from us, and uh, they fit all the Curry grips, uh, the ISO grips, ISO flame grips, the kinetic grips, and that's the original version of the lid locks with the four screw holes in it. Uh, now, in the last year, we've uh, increased our fitment, you know, hugely uh, across all the sport bikes. We've got lid locks for Gold Wings, we've got lid locks for Ducatis, we've got lid locks for uh, all kinds of bikes out there. And uh, all you got to do is go to the website, go to the fitment table, and uh, the next clip in this video is going to show you exactly how to use that fitment table and um, pick out what uh, lock is going to fit your bike. And always remember, like I say in the next uh, part of the video, is uh, just email me, matt at lidlocks.com, it's M-A-T-T, -T, at L-I-D-L-O-X dot com, or give me a call, 623-298-7835. And uh, please don't hesitate to call or email me, and uh, ask me what fits your bike, if you've got aftermarket grips, if you're not sure if your grips are stock, just shoot me a picture on your uh, smartphone email it to me. I'm here to take care of each and every customer. I'm not afraid of questions. I answer them all day. I enjoy answering your questions and enjoy working with you on your project one-on-one -on -one. Um, until your lid locks uh, fits perfect and until it works perfect. Uh, every customer has 100% money back guarantee at lid locks. If you're not 100% satisfied, if it doesn't fit for any reason, you just return it and I'll refund uh, your entire purchase price. That's just the way I take care of everybody at lid locks. So, Go ahead and keep watching this video and uh, I'll show you how to use the website, how to use the fitment table to figure out what uh, kit fits your bike. And once again, if you have any question on that process, just email me, mattatwoodlocks.com and we'll get going on your project. Um, that's all there is to it. Thanks for watching and uh, we'll talk to you later. Okay, so once you go to my website, what you want to do is go to the fitment table. But before we do that, I'd like to point out uh, on the left side here, the reviews tab. Uh, you know, go ahead and check out uh, some of the reviews on here. There's a lot of five-star reviews on here. And um, you can really see what customers think about their lid locks. I mean, most customers just absolutely love their lid locks. In fact, uh, once they buy them for one of their bikes, the next thing, you know, is I'm sending them a set for every, every bike they own. Um, once they use them, they love them. So read through the reviews and uh, you know, you'll see that for yourself. So in order to figure out, figure out what uh, item number fits your bike, let's go to the fitment table and that's what it looks like and it's being updated all the time. So you've got make, model, Lidlock's item number, uh, that category in the store, the store link, an install video and a sample photo in the photo gallery. So just come on down here like uh, BMW F700GS is an item 1007 or 1008. Then just click on the BMW category in the store. And they are all in numerical order. 
And then uh, for the BMW ones, there's two letters, 1007 BC, which means black spacer and a chrome lid locks. And the seven is the single. And the 1008, that would be a black and black here. And that's a pair. So, okay, I wanted a black pair. So there you go. You can see it in the picture. The spacers are black. The lock itself is black. And there it is, pair for BMW black. 1008 BB. Now I told you in the fitment table that the 1008 was for your F700 GS. So it may say something different in the title here, like it may say, uh, you know, on the Honda ones it says Goldwing, but those Goldwing kits fit a whole lot of different bikes. So don't get thrown off by that. Use the, the fitment table as your main guide. And if there's any questions on this, of course, just email me to matt at lidlocks.com, M A T T at L I D L O X dot com. I'm more than happy to answer all your questions. Uh, love, love answering customers' questions. Really like chatting with everybody. Um, and so, you know, please open up a dialogue with me. Uh, call me if you're more of a phone person, 623-298-7835. But uh, I'm at my desk a lot, so you'll get uh, a response by email pretty quick. So uh, let's look across here on the fitment table again. Your F700 GS is going to say, under install video same as K1600 well you can see it's the same kit as the K1600 and the installation procedure is exactly the same <clears throat> as the K1600 and that's why I make that little note same as K16 well you're watching the K1600 install video uh, but the procedure is exactly the same for your bike and in fact it's the exact same kit here you know same thing goes for a Goldwing you know it's the same kit that fits a lot of the different Hondas uh, same little spacer. Honda uses the same bar internals and bar end weight across a lot of the sport bikes and whatnot. So just to remind you that, yeah, you're seeing a Goldwing in the install video, but uh, that doesn't matter. It's it's still uh, same exact procedure for your bike. In fact, the same kit. Uh, so if you go over here to the photo gallery, pick F700 GS, it's going to take you over here to, uh, you can see your product on an F700 GS. Okay, so uh, all of these uh, OEM bike listings here, you know, those are those are the stock grips on the OEM bikes. If you've got aftermarket grips, then definitely, you know, shoot me an email, take a close-up picture with your smartphone of your aftermarket grip, and tell me if you know what kind it is. Great. If you don't, just shoot me a picture. I've seen a lot of them. I probably know what it is, and I know what it takes to put a lid locks on it. Um, I've got some kits that I don't list here like uh, kits for Avon grips that customers are running um, you know that I've sent them because I know how to put one on an Avon grip uh, I just haven't put that that particular kit on the market plus a lot of times all it takes is a different screw a different spacer or this or that I've got a lot of those parts here and I can I can figure out what goes on your bike <clears throat> you know all of these are uh, established and in production and ready to go um, you know the one aftermarket grip that we do fit is is the the Kuriak and ISO grips. That in fact is the original lid locks has been on the market for 12 years now, and uh, the uh, Kuriak and ISO flame transformer or braided grips. Uh, those locks just screw to the end of the grip with the four little screws, um, and Kuriak and has those grips for all kinds of bikes out there: metric bikes, Victories, uh, a lot of your Harleys, and uh, they're a very popular grip. If you got those grips on there. You know, watch the install video. It's super easy to install those. And now, uh, Kuriakin also has these kinetic grips that, that also have four screw holes in the end uh, under the cap. And so uh, those same kits go on those, those grips as well. I've also got uh, for the Harley Davidson aftermarket grips with the end caps. So those are, you know, the flame hand grips, the streamliner hand grips, the chrome and rubber hand grips, the skull hand grips. You know, again, just take, if you're not sure, just take a close-up picture of your grip, email it to me, and I'll let you know exactly what fits on there or not. Okay, so that's basically it, and uh, that's how you find out what fits on your bike. And uh, again, I'm just a phone call or an email away. 623-298-7835 is the phone number. And thanks for watching, and we'll talk to you soon.